Anytime things are going bad, when we become stressed, when we're in a confrontation, when we're anxious, our breathing will become rapid. It will become shallow. Your heart rate will increase. You might even feel a throbbing in your head and your neck. So this is both a symptom of stress. It's also a signal to the body that something's wrong. And it's a signal from the body to you that something is wrong. So we want to work on something called 478 breathing. Now this technique of breathing is very simple. It's very straightforward, but it does wonders for your body. So what you want to do is you want to uh, slow down your breathing as much as possible. And if you te- if you practice this technique, it will be there for you instantly uh, during the times when you're highly stressed. So what you want to do is um, you want to be able to inhale slowly through your nose as you count to four. Most times your uh, proper breathing is going to be through your nose, in- inhaling through your nose. You want to hold your breath for the count of seven. And then you're going to exhale slowly through your mouth for the count of eight. So that's four, seven, eight breathing. You're going to inhale for a count of four. You're going to hold it for the count of seven. You're going to exhale slowly and purposefully for the count of eight. Now, when you do this, you want to be able to focus inward. Focus on your breathing. Focus on how it feels as the breath comes in through your nose and it goes down your throat and down your neck into your chest and lungs, and you want to feel yourself inflate, you want to feel, you can actually, if you concentrate and look inward, you can feel the gas exchange take place. You can feel the fuel of your oxygen going into your blood. When that oxygen goes into your blood, it pushes out the bad chemicals such as adrenaline. Adrenaline and oxygen really can't exist in the blood at the same time. So when you flood yourself with oxygen, you're fueling your body, you're making it clean, you are pushing all the bad elements out. And when you hold your breath for the count of seven, it's going to allow that gas exchange to take place. It's going to allow all that bad exhaust, all that carbon dioxide, everything to vent out of your body. And it's going to allow the oxygen that you took in to absorb into the blood, is to fill your blood with oxygen, which is the same as filling yourself with energy and optimism and happiness. And you're going to exhale all that out for the count of eight, and you're going to notice the sensation of relaxation setting in as you do the exhalation. Now, you can do it for three times or five times. Repeat it however much you like. You can do even do it for a few minutes. So you want to know that um, deep breathing is also linked to improved mood. So breathing exercises communicate so efficiently with your body, it's critical for you to ground yourself, to become calm in your mind and relaxed in your body, and for your spirit to still. So you can use your breathing. You can use your breathing as an anchor uh, that's always available to you. So do the four, seven, eight. Also, when you're having trouble sleeping, when you're tossing and turning, when you are stressed, when you have things in your mind, when you've been looking at your phone too much, and it's hard to get to sleep. So what you want to do is concentrate on your four, seven, eight. Uh, breathing style, Uh, find a very comfortable position in the bed, fluff up your pillow, lay back and relax, and concentrate on your 478 breathing style. And what that will do is it will allow you to feel the sensation of relaxation coming into your body with your breath. And your stress will be evaporating out with your exhalations. And um, I challenge you, even if you just haven't been able to get to sleep, I challenge you to last through 10 uh, breathing cycles. So if you do this 478 breath technique, uh, 
you will be able to fall right asleep. You'll be so relaxed and so comfortable, uh, you will be able to sleep and uh, have deep dreams, deeper than you've ever had before, uh, all through the night.